Hello guys, and welcome to episode 98 of my Empire Total War campaign, playing as Prussia, going for world domination. Previously, we destroyed the United States. Their last settlement was Quebec, and we took it in what was a very decisive victory, using our howitzers to great effect. Today, though, we're going to be wiping out the Iroquois. They have, I believe, one settlement left, and then the only faction left on the map would be Mexico. So that's going to be our next target. And we do have a navy here. Well, one merchantman carrying an army that's going to be ready to attack them. So we'll likely uh, get on that sooner than later. We just got to kind of keep an eye on this army or navy, sorry, which has a lot of ships, a lot of big ships too. Two heavy first rates, bunch of second rates. Got some third rates in there, some fifth rates, as well as some bomb catches. It's just a really nice navy that I'm probably never ever going to have. Uh, but let's just have a look at what's left to move. Because we do have some armies with movement left. And we still need to get this force over here. We haven't used these yet, these Freikor. But they are finally going to be joining us in the Americas. Anyone else I need to worry about? So this navy retreated previously because of the Americans, but the Americans are gone now, so I should be able to head across and just unload it over here maybe and then walk around to Mexico. It's going to take me a little while to get to Mexico. I haven't really timed this very well. I think it's mainly because I didn't expect to be at war with Mexico. And so all of the armies that I already had in position, I focused on destroying America instead. Let's go up here. I'm going to have to maybe go back and take Albany if this army decides to attack it. I might just get a couple of militia because these two little armies that are hanging about could attack us at the end of the turn. We have George, he's heading on around, that's good. On his way, that's nice. We do have decent roads here, don't we? Or at least we will in three turns. It's going to be a little bit late. Uh, I've also got this army. Actually, I guess technically I could use this army to take out them. There we go, that saves us having to worry about it. So we can cancel that recruitment now. Very good. And where were we? We got Emmanuel Dearmissen on here. He's 46 and he is a very good general. I do like looking at how old these fellas are. Just to see like how good they become at a certain age. Like he's 61 and he's not anywhere near as good. Is Emmanuel Dearmissen. And then we have Bartholomew's class, who is 66. And he is very, very good. So yeah, lots of experience in my armies now. He's left, just the army in Falmouth. Okay, cool. Uh, anything to do with the navies? You move my brigs across. We've got what is a small navy that can move down. This is as big as my navy is probably ever going to get. Some fourth rates, a steamship, and the third rate there. We've got brig that can move down. I've also got, oh, this force as well. Bomb catch, fifth rate, third rate. Cool. So we do have some forces on the sea, but nowhere near enough to challenge them. Rather than that, it's just agents, and I don't think I really need to move my agents all that much. There's nothing I really need to see. I love the way I have a uh, gentleman who's just having a holiday. 
<laughs> I've left them in this port by accident. <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. <laughs> It's not really any reason to... Oh, I could probably win this. It's not really any reason to... Like... Spend my money, or like, move my agents, or all that jazz, because... It's just not long until the end of the campaign now, so it's just kind of pointless. Uh, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go and get in the building here. And we'll just wait for the calf to come in. I guess actually I should probably get on the wall to shoot the calf. Now I think about it. I actually used the wrong unit there. I meant to use the other one, but we'll just switch them around. Well, they actually got off the cannons, they're coming towards us. That's perfect. I was really worried that I'd have to, like, run out and deal with them that way, but... Nope. Which is good. Let's get these into position ASOP, because it looks like they're going to come and try and, like, climb the wall or whatever. Okay, and <laughs> they're coming through. That's fine. Just go get them. There we go. What's that one dealt with? Right now we just gotta shoot them from the blockhouse. We've only got a small window here. Just six men reloading and firing. Oh, we killed the general. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, we can happily defend this. Oh, there is a couple of windows as well. Good. Slowly but surely kill them off. They can't target anything because they're all in buildings. This is a really silly battle, honestly. I'm probably just going to wait until... I'm like, I was thinking of maybe bringing these out to speed it up, but I don't want to risk it. Might as well just wait. Let them be, be killed off by these few men. There we go. Job done. I right, got rid of that army. So no need to worry about them anymore. And next turn should be the end of the Iroquois. Are the gentlemen recruited? Oh no, our queen has died. And now we have Friedrich Wilhelm. He is bon vivant as well. Every leader I've got has been bon vivant. <laughs> That's amazing. It really doesn't happen too often. Cool. Species Plantarum. The eminent Swedish naturalist Carl Linn, known as Linne Linneus, has ensured a prominent place for him as the father of modern taxon taxonomy with the publication of his latest work, Species Plantarum. This mighty two-volume work lists every known plant, classifying them according to class, order, genera, and species using Linnaeus's own unique system 
developed initially in his Sistema Naturae. His sim simple system counts the pistils and stamens of every plant to group them in genera, enabling easy identification. Formal names are assigned to each plant along with, a sh with shorter epithets for ease of reference. Running to over 1200 pages, Species Plantarum is already a monumental work, yet Linnaeus intends to continually update and expand it as new specimens arrive from his many correspondents around the world. Matters would appear to be, as the man himself has recently been heard to say, Deus Crevit Linnaeus Disposuit, <laughs> probably <laughs> butchered that, or God created Linnaeus organized. There we go. All right, my gentleman died in my school over here. Very good. Right. Got a bunch of water power cloth bills over in Mesopotamia and also over in India. It's cool. My merchantmen have arrived. Let's get them together. The, the fleets of the Americans are dead now, so we can just head back over here. And we have our fleet arriving in the top. This is our elite forces going to be working their way down. And we're going to be going over here, aren't we? To the Pacific. So it's going to bring that in behind. Let's do that. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get there, but we'll see. Cool. All right, let's go through my armies, or at least we'll just go over to the Americas, because we have this battle to do up against the Iroquois in Niagara, or Niagara. Okie dokie. Is that army going to be able to reinforce? I feel like it is. No, not quite. But it doesn't really matter. We have so much elite infantry here. That are actually, you know, relatively good melee defense wise. So we are in a much better position to take on these forces, even in melee. Uh, we're just going to continue that siege though. I'm going to bring up my cav. Just in case we need them, let's jump on in and fight this out. All right, here we are. And I'm likely to do... Uh, normal native killing formation so we'll grab my grens we'll just place them at the top here and then we'll do this either side with the cannons like so kind of like been perfecting this <laughs> over time Slightly adjusting the way that I do the top part. Having grenadiers is like such a good, good uh, way to do this because you have like some really seriously good melee forces, and also of course have the grenades if they need them. All right, uh, let's just get all my calf behind and. Pop my howitzers back here. On carcass shot. Thank you guys for your comments about the the carcass shot thing. Uh, obviously, we worked out that carcass shot doesn't count towards kills and therefore doesn't give your units experience. I'm not sure if it's like really worth having like experience on these. I guess technically it increases like rate of fire and stuff, and accuracy over time. So using stuff that 
counts for kills is probably better overall in the long run. But right now it's probably too late. Anyway, let's uh, get this underway. Uh, there is some native artillery there actually. It's pretty far forwards. But we might have to be a bit careful here. I'm going to spread out my cav a bit further back. And we're going to have some of my hussars probably move out. to the flank yeah that's not going to end too well for that cab unit Yeah, I really want to get rid of that cannon unit. We're just going to charge them head on. Get rid of them ASAP. Uh, there is the native artillery further back as well that we could probably just move on and kill. Okay, kind of had to change the order there a bit. It looks like we might lose the Hazars. They were hidden. That sucks. They might recover on the flank and then we can do something with them then. Meanwhile, we are being flanked over here. Mounted tribal gunners just charging into my line here. Yeah, they're gone. That's one way to deal with them. My cav did come back, that's good. Let's go force my way into those cannons again. Go back to canister, please. Team firing underway. <laughs> I just go straight into my cannons. We stop those. They're not going for my units at the top here like they were before. Interestingly enough. Or oh, even the grenadiers are soon firing now. Okay. Actually, gonna try something. Like, if we go like four ranks, does it make the platoon firing better? Because they're gonna fire in like larger chunks. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, so that does work. Obviously, having deeper ranks does make you more vulnerable to artillery. But if you can get greater concentration of fire, it's probably worth it. Well, especially when they start firing this fast. Cool. Only a little bit left to go. But why they're not firing there, that was weird. Did I accidentally turn them off fire well? I lost my hussars. <laughs> I've just realized. All right, let's just stop the cannons firing and we'll just run down the rest. Though we might not need to. Good. And that's the Iroquois dealt with. They are gone. For good. Destroyed. Wonderful. A new national leader taking the first victory against the Iroquois. And the last. Early under fire. Very good. And goodbye to the last of the natives. Now we only have Mexico to deal with. And um, it's job done. So, honestly, we might get it done today. My Lord. Yeah, that could be something. All right. Uh, we just need to make sure that all my armies are moving in that direction. And then we should be good. So, let's grab our army in Quebec. And looks like I'm going to have to stay there. Let's put my militia in there. How does that do? Hmm. We'll leave some of these guys. There we go. And we'll start marching down this way. Alright. This navy. I want to kind of head towards the port here. And then I want to kind of move around if I can. It'd be much faster. It's like with this one. But maybe I can just drop them off over here. And then retreat. There's two galleons in there. God, I really wish there was a port over here somewhere. Because getting over to these ports is a bit of a mission. I think I can probably get there from here. Just don't want to leave this out in the open too long. It's annoying that they're in that port. I could sacrifice the merchantman. I don't really mind. Let's just drop off the army over here. And then we can try and make some distance away. Sorry, my... <laughs> Deaky got stuck there for a second. That was weird. Okay. Let's continue to click through these. Uh, good old George here. And carry on. We got Gabriel Goodman. You can fix up and start heading down here as well. Uh, Friedemann Luda. And start heading down here as well. Uh, we have Ernst up in Yankton, who can probably leave. Yeah, public order's fine. So he can head south. And we're having like sort of weird laggy issues with this game right now. That's weird. 
Um, hopefully it doesn't like start crashing on me. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about that. And that army can just carry on over. So that was Dietrich. We got Bartholomas. You can also head down. I'm just spending all my money on getting these armies back up to scratch. Loads more men. Look at this army. It's a right ragtag of natives and line infantry and stuff. I just kind of like this army. It's cool. Okay. Now we just go through our navies. Uh, so I might as well fix that up. Fix that up as well. We'll have those two go together. I love that we got Samuel Lentz like ages ago as our admiral. And he's now 74. And I don't think he's ever really had to have a naval battle. So he turned to drink apparently. <laughs> he's a four bottle man. Right. Uh, let's see. Anything else I need to fix up while I'm here? Any of these ports that have been raided? Why is how has Mexico got trade? Oh, that'll be from down in Brazil, actually. In theory, we could just blockade that. Deal money. That takes us up to twenty two thousand eight hundred income. I will have to run if their navy comes though. Alright, let me just see where that gentleman turned up. He's down here. Really? Okay. Well, we're not going to bother moving him then. <laughs> That's so silly. How are we doing with spreading the Protestant faith in Africa? <laughs> we're getting there. Slowly. Okay. Cool. That'll do. Let's move on to the next turn. There are a few units that it looks like I missed, but otherwise all good. It's just Mexico. Look at that. In the end turn. Right, loads of roads done. This is good timing because I need to move all of my forces down. So this should help out a lot. Okay. Alright, fleet arrived. Good. Where can I land? <laughs> uh, we probably will land over here, I guess. That should be a couple of turns and then we're good. Yep, lovely. We got this army coming over this way. It's actually not going to be long, it's literally a couple more turns. We just move on out with our armies. I can move this out. Yeah, looks like we won't even need our peacekeeping force either. One thing I do like about the, the natives is that they aren't generally happy people, so they don't really mind. Uh, Patrick Zustulberg gonna be zooming on down. Imagine knowing, as Mexico, that you have the wrath of the entire Prussian force coming towards you. I'm probably going to come down here. Next turn we'll make a run for this force. And then from there we can probably... Just zoom across to one of these ports, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, next up is Gottlieb. Then we've got Gabriel Gutman. We're going to leave Gottlieb where he is. 
Friedman Luda. Ernst. Uh, we have Emmanuel Diermessen. Uh, I guess I could technically push them out of the port. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. <laughs> Mainly because they might go and attack my other forces now. <laughs> um, but we will see. Yeah, like this one, for example. I'm going to move up here so that we're in range to go to one of these ports. Alright, Bartholomaus. Lovely. And uh, then we have got, we've got Baldur Strack. I might just move him up to Fort Nashwak. I can get rid of more of these armies from the lists, that would be great. Any that are too small to care about. I should probably just disband um, the one in Fort Nashwak actually and the one in India just to make it easier towards the end of the turn. These merchantmen aren't quite in range yet. Okay. That's everything done. Let's move on to the next turn. Yeah, so the galleons have moved back. Oh, they're going for my army there. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was a bit worried about that. They found me. An opportunity to intercept our first skirmish. With the Mexican forces, they've scouted our force. I could just potentially order a resolve it. I think I'm going to do that. I think if we played it out, we could probably do a lot better and not lose too many men, but I think it's fine. I don't want to waste time playing out that battle. There's actually a small force there that's coming over. Oh, there's an army in our way. Another army. Bit, bit of a larger army. Uh, so what do I need to deal with this? This is some guards, some native warriors. I might split off a little bit of a force here. We'll take... Take these lot. We'll give them a new general. Adam Brown. Entrusted by Emmanuel Dearmison to go and deal with those, or at least, you know, act as a little bit of a deterrent. I'm going to force that attack, though. We have a new town there. I noticed one, I think it was here. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the armies on the move again. I do have this force that can head towards Texas. And I'm probably going to use my priest to scout for me. Okay. So there's nothing really in our way down there. Do they don't have many armies. I kind of feel like there's an army up here somewhere. Actually, I can't merge those, can I? It's uh, a little bit awkward. Hmm. Okay, I'm... Tempted to just attack this galleon, like these galleons. And then... Oh, we lost seven ships. <laughs> Never order resolved naval battles, guys. Holy shit. 
<laughs> I just lost half my navy to two galleons. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that was something. If I do this and then put them on these ships, can these ships immediately move? They can. Wait, that works? Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, the movement range of this game is janked. That is so funny. <laughs> this is my um, company, East India Company forces coming all the way over here to Mexico let's attack in we go this has been an episode hasn't it I guess I'm just like kind of rushing to the end now there isn't much to do like we've got this battle and then we got the battle in Texas and that's it we're done and unlike in my English campaign, I'm probably not going to spend all my time clicking the end turn and waiting till the victory. Because we do have a lot of turns still until victory. So I don't think I'm going to like prove that I've clicked the 1899 to get the victory condition. Um, we'll just kind of leave it once Mexico is destroyed. And then we can vote for what you want to see next on the channel. I have had some suggestions from you guys already. Just trying to work out the moment where I want to attack from though. I think over here is probably best. This wall's nice and open. make it look like it's a column that's come up here okay I've also got puckle guns. Puckle guns are so terrible though. These things, they're fun, but they are just so awful. <laughs> they just don't fire fast enough at all. So this could potentially be the last battle, because Texas will probably just order resolve if there's no garrison there. No big army. I'll be in the following turn. I mean, they might attack us in the end turn, but again, I don't think there's any big force that I really need to worry about by those things. We're just going to smash the wall to pieces. And get this underway ASAP. I do like their outfits. I got nice colours. The sort of bright yellow grenadier outfits and the yellow uniforms for their guards. Right, there we go. That's job done. Okay, now we'll limber these back up. Uh, should I make two breaches actually? I might attempt to make two breaches because I feel like they're going to stand on this. We'll attack that as well. I don't want them up on here shooting down at us.
I could do like a full scale assault actually, where I just climb the walls. Because we do outnumber them quite significantly. Both in quality and in total numbers. Puckle guns on the flank just for funds. Uh, let's go ahead and get these to the left side here. I might climb this wall at some point. Just run the infantry into position. I would like it if I could speed it up, but uh, <laughs> alas. It's not letting me speed it up properly. I always found it really weird how it works though. It's like it's lagging. But when I move the camera it doesn't. Yet it still says sped up. Anyway. Uh, let's just get those into position. It looks like well actually have to go over the walls anyway because they're not cooperating but I believe it is something to do with like AI pathfinding as soon as like the AI starts moving it just starts lagging uh, I'm shooting my own guys here aren't I I don't seem to care that I'm coming inside. Maybe just force it. We end up in like a prolonged melee against the guards though, that's gonna suck. Oh, now they're coming. We could climb here as well and try and get on the wall there. Get my howitzers unlimbered and we'll just start using carcass shot on these grins. I 
once all of these are up on the wall, then I'll be able to shoot down. Wait, did we not give our soldiers boots? Like, come on. Group management 101. Give the poor lads boots. can fire now guys there you go I might be able to line these up on the stairs and shoot down. <laughs> I'm not sure what this formation is though. Try and go through the breach. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. We're going to go and just try and cap it from the centre then. Keep them occupied on the walls in the meantime. They're gonna let me. It's okay. Just line up and gun them down. Meanwhile, continue to bring troops around the flank. Continue to shoot through the breach. Crazy how spread out their formation is there. sure we're shooting the guards as well.
I'm gonna have my company infantry go in behind them. Start shooting them in the back. Those guys aren't completely running. But we're gonna go try cap the mid. I finish off these native warriors. Two minutes remaining. Well, one and a half minutes now. seconds left let's just cover off the left side we're gonna turn around actually that's some guards Frontiersmen have some range, so we need to get closer to them. 15 seconds left. And take it out from under their nose. There we go. Jobs done. That was an interesting battle. A bit different than normal. This is the old breach trick. And that takes their capital. Straight from under their nose. Lovely. Now we can see where their armies actually are. Uh, they've got three down here. Okay. Oh, they're all split up. So these might consolidate and attack us. But there's nothing in Texas, and this is their last settlement. So if we move on to the next <laughs> to the next settlement. This job done. I'm laughing because this is Samuel Lentz. I just realized our Admiral died. <laughs> After all that time. He just he just died. <laughs> That's funny. It might be an interesting to like play it out so we actually had like a naval battle by the end, but it looks like we're not even gonna be able to use these guys as well. It's really sad. It's, uh, that army is pretty fun. It's got a lot of like the latest units. There's not really much point in moving any of this stuff down anymore. <laughs> it's just all done. I guess that's the only trouble with like completing the campaign too fast. Is that you don't get to see everything. Uh, that you would otherwise want to. Like, technically, I could leave them alive, let them build up armies, and then, like, 
kill the army again, but it's just tedious and I'm not really about that, honestly. <laughs> I'm not even sure why I'm moving all of these down manually. And we can just click the intern and destroy them. Which is probably what I'm going to do. We'll fix up our buildings another time. Oh, they're chasing down my navy that destroyed their galleons. Time to run. Yeah, Texas is just undefended. Just to file our calm citizenry. Alright, this is it. Time to say goodbye to Mexico. Order resolve. Bish bash bosh. Everybody's dead. No one left in the world other than Prussians. So we do get a little bit of money from this, but their upkeep is what, 46 each? I'm not sure how much you get for one ship. Let's go have a look. So you get 340. So yeah, technically it'd be worth maxing out these nodes with merchantmen. Would you get like 340 per, although you would like saturate the market. So technically that would go down. Like, ivory is worth 52 right now, though, because there's pretty much none being supplied anywhere in the world. The ivory trade would be worth it. But there we go. That's it. We've killed everybody in the world. We've taken every single province. If we go to the government tab, go to policies, we can see that every territory is under our command and taxing every single one now so how's it looking we're only making 18,000 a turn considering we own every single settlement in the world so I think I did a good balance of army upkeep 74,984 is how much my army's cost to upkeep uh, we have 137 regions out of the 40 required. <laughs> Our prestige is the one and only. Is there anything else I could look at here before we call it a day? Our population. Is that in the billions? Or not quite? No, that's 501 million, 246,000. And 16 not that's our total population the government popularity is going up at least that's good all of them bon vivant yeah couldn't have got better very very nice indeed there we have it hopefully you guys have enjoyed this world domination with Prussia I am going to leave it here. This will be the last episode. Uh, we can... Well, I'll, I might in my own time just click through to the end turn. See if it gives me any uh, achievements or anything. But otherwise, it's literally a matter of clicking twice a year. For another, like, 46 years. 45 years. I think it goes... At 1799, I think, is when the game ends. Technically. And you have to click through to that point in order for it to give you the victory message. So, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. <laughs> that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this world domination. Big big thanks to all you guys in the comments who have helped me out throughout and given me loads of tips and stuff. Hopefully, I won't forget too many of them before we play Empire Total War again in the future. But what's going to happen is there will be a poll up on the channel that you guys can help vote for what you want to see next uh it'll probably be things like medieval 2 shogun that kind of stuff like it's going to be another historical campaign so yeah keep your eyes out keep your eyes peeled <laughs> keep, don't take your eyes out that would be that would sound healthy keep your eyes peeled even though that sounds just as bad um thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys <laughs>
in the next series. Goodbye. Yeah,